Yo, what's good? It's Tektron. Here to talk some Black Clover. Been a minute. We're not going to get into all that excuses and reasons. Let's just dive into it. So, 319. We had the captains all trying, but everything they did was pointless against Lucifero. They created an opening basically just with their words that disgusted Lucifero even further. For us to get this nice swing in, but all he got was a horn. And boy, did this set Lucy off even further. <laughs> One of the most disgusted faces he's made. He's just like, oh my god. You fell a brat. <laughs> he just starts stomping him. Like, I didn't even realize Lucifero had legs before this chapter, bro. Like, I thought that ink blot was... Skirt of his was just... Filling in for his legs. Maybe they just didn't come through in his half manifestation. But now they're there. Long, uh... Leg linked skirt. It must be the rage in the underworld. In that bottom level, you know. But yeah, he, he's... Pissed. Trash. Magically scum. My body. How dare you? <laughs> and then Asta is saved by Charlotte's vines. And her and Dorothy have this dumb moment where they're like anti magic attacks work on Lucifer. No shit. Protect him. I think we gotta let, make sure he lives. That's what they were saying. I was like, what? Y'all should already know this. Isn't that the whole point when Nock was saying? I was like, yeah, anti-magic can, can defeat some devils. Uh, like, y'all know three things. Anti-magic, dark magic, Satan stage. Like, duh. I, I'm more annoyed that y'all thought y'all was going to fight without him. <laughs> and y'all were like, oh, his attack worked. Of course it worked. As long as he can actually get an attack in. <laughs> that will be the problem. All right. Furthermore, he just starts going on the rampage. Like, move it out of the way. People are talking to him. He's just like, whatever. Vanish. They'll come in and talk about, like, oh, yeah, I learned something from the peasant too. Silence. Get out of here. <laughs> lion, lion siblings. And. They got this nice shot with Salamander. They got their fire fist. Salamander's breath going off. It's a big fire explosion. Lucifer just walks right out of it. Be quiet. <laughs> you irritated me. Ox merrily over down. Grabs Fuego by the face. Launches Fuego into real. Tells him to disappear too. And that takes out the uh, mansion the source of basically all the captain's strength. The only reason they were even able to stand in Lucifero's gravity. Me. Expedi Exposition devil as I've named him because he's he given us all the tidbits. It even states that he's like, yeah, they hung on longer than expected, but they're only human. Finally, Lucy has his way cleared. Asta, Chibi Liba smashed into his chest. It's just down, defenseless. It's just like, yep, he's him. He's the cause of all this, that filthy brat. And Lucifer jumps up, ready to deliver one last stomp. So he's going to die. And he hits nothing but Earth. And notices a star. And then looks back. And he sees Asa has been teleported in this little bubble. And in that bubble, you know, Mimosa. Finally, you owe me one Asta. 10 out of 10 chapter right here. I ain't seen nobody, like, I haven't seen them battle this one-sided in a cool minute, it feels like. like really? I mean, we've had some examples, but everybody's grown since then. Some by leaps and bounds, especially these two, but 
it ain't enough. When people were talking like, it's been a while since I've made the video, obviously, so I'll touch on something. Everyone was like, oh yeah, it's Kage vs. Madara vibes. Gote 13. I don't even really know Bleach like that, but them versus Aizen. <laughs> was it really, though? <laughs> I mean, the Kage can at least do some damage, but they had the downside of the hat and Omadara. So, like, he would just regenerate. <laughs> they never had a chance. Similar to this, but. Yeah. At least you, at least you thought the the Kage could like actually seal seal him, maybe. I mean, not really, but what the hell were these magic night caps gonna do? <laughs> Nothing. It was exactly as Lucifer said over and over and over in three nineteen. Pointless. <laughs> I'm curious to see how this goes. We got you know over here, dual building magic. Same stage, he can pop into it. He's got the stars. He can teleport around. Can your stars with handle the gravity? That's what we gonna find. And where's Noel? You need some backup. <laughs> I presume Mimosa is about to be busy working on loss of that. Uh, which wouldn't be the best support anyways, I don't think. Nah, it's funny, I brought, brought up Noel. Um, back when Lucifero delivered the most epic punch of the series, sent Asta flying before the captain stepped up. I saw Vanessa and Yami. I didn't see anyone else from the Bulls right in that vicinity. Kind of weird. What are they up to? Is, uh, you know about to fight with the whole squad? Minus Vanessa? Like, were they just underneath rubble? Am I just thinking too much? But yeah. Captains. Look like they were done for. So it's up to you know now? I mean, somebody else is going to step up. And, and let us not forget, it's not just Lucifero here. There is another Supreme Devil. Don't know much about them. Other than they like to talk and explain things for us as far as turning to Lucifero. So I've dubbed the Exposition Devil. We got our resident Piccolo on the case. Yeah, I would love to see Uno and Noel team up. Get washed. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what's going to happen here. How, how do you how do you take this dude down? <laughs> you don't even need his full power. Half is enough. Like we're gonna have to have an angel come down, or like king of the dwarves come over here with a new weapon. <laughs> like hey, this is the the devil's. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't even know. <laughs> but as I'm saying that, I'm like Austin's down though. <laughs> Who's gonna wield it? All right. Yeah. I think I'm gonna end it there. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, for more manga, anime, and some uh, anime-based Scotch games coverage. Peace.